If you look at um, Barbara Ward's book in 1972, Only One Earth, it tells us about an Earth that is a single, self-supporting, vulnerable system that serves mankind. But today, the resources that we are using requires more than one Earth to support us. And this could be the result. A kind of total devastation, city in ruins, and science fiction, maybe, but in reality, it could happen if we do not use our resources well, we do not take care of our cities. In many ways, cities are responsible because we create most of the waste, we use up most of the resources on the earth, and we uh, emit most of the greenhouse gas in the, in the, into the atmosphere. But as cities grow and as more people move into cities, our demand for food, for energy, for water will grow exponentially. Our garbage mountains will continue to pile up. Land will be used more intensively and we'll see more and more dense cities. Singapore is a dense city, but we have done reasonably well in terms of creating reasonably good and livable environment. But in the future, the, the densities that we'll be seeing will be even many more times what we see today. Land, water, energy, food, waste, they are all interconnected. And we have to come up with solutions that are holistic, that are integrated, that look at the entire system in a single, holistic manner. And this is where we need to look for closed-loop approaches, where input into the urban system has got to be looked at in terms of how we track all our resource input, whether it's waste, material, energy, and try to recover them, reuse them, reabsorb them back into the urban system. And these closed-loop systems are not new. In the case of water, we have already had some successes in terms of bringing wastewater back into the water loop to create a complete closing of the loop through our, our use of what we call new water. But water is only one sector. We really have to look across sectors, across firms, to see how we can actually bring in resources, waste products, byproducts, and reuse them as raw material into other processes so that we have a complete industrial symbiotic process or closed system that allows a harvesting all the total values that come out of it. And the question is, how can we implement this system in our, in our cities where we live, work and play? And we need research. We need good design. This is a conceptualization of a simple closed-loop system, an autonomous neighborhood that we have been researching into in NUS, where we look at urban agriculture as the center of the system and harvest all the waste that comes out of the households and the system and bring it back as energy to, to serve our household. And this is exciting because you can actually bring from the household to the city, everyone harvests. And you can create systems like what we see, the verticalized, intensive agriculture system that will feed the entire city. But you need good design, you need good architecture, you need good planning. And these are some of the work done by our architecture students in our university, where we experiment with working in tight, tight and small urban um, conditions. And you can start working on this and start upscaling it. And this is the conceptualization of a city with 100,000 persons living in one square kilometer, uh, an experiment we did for a city in Vietnam. And you can actually think about this as potential for the future and even extending it to, to look at other kinds of 
energy systems, algae growing. So that at the end of the day, what you have is productive landscapes permeating through the entire city. Can we do this? I think the question is, how can we design and plan our cities in the future so that they can grow, harvest, recover and regenerate its resources for itself? Okay. Thank you very much. Great. Good job.